Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 4 Nuts of Berry Challenge. Oh my god. Part 12. And in the last part, Genesis went on her date with Caleb and she kind of slept with him. And yes, it has been revealed that she... Well, it hasn't been revealed yet, but I did check with my pregnancy mod that... And yes, she is pregnant. And it's rough. It's rough, and she doesn't know what to do about it, because she, I think she likes Caleb. Not Caleb, um, I think she, um, likes Will, too. But she also likes Will. And I, I know this will be a factor for her when she learns of it. She likes his money. Because, as we all know, Genesis is materialistic. And I want to do, somehow, incorporate these traits into her actual, like, personality, like, the things she does. And she's materialistic. And she's a bit conflicted. And we're actually picking up after she gets out of work because I want her to go to the bar where Karen works. And not drink, obviously, because she's pregnant. But, like, just ask for some advice from... Hold on, let me see. Is that probably her best friend? Yeah, Karen's probably her best friend. So I feel like we should ask. And she works from 7 to 10 at the old quarter inn in Newcrest, so I was thinking we'd head down there, group up with Karen, as soon as we finish doing our plants and all that. Come on, Genesis, let's hurry this along. Thank you. I also, once she gets pregnant, we're gonna have to dress her in maternity wear, like, once she starts to, like, show, like, second or third trimester, we're gonna have to get her, like, pregnancy. And she has to pee before she goes. I guess we can pee at the bar. Okay. So, time to travel, because it is 9 p.m., and I think it's acceptable to go to a bar at 9 p.m. I mean, like, we aren't day drinking, obviously. And so, where's the old quarter in? The streaking llama. The old quarter in. Oh! But anyways, let me go with Karen. But... Videos will not be up between the 9th and either the 14th or the 15th, because I am going, finally, on my senior trip. Finally. It's July. I graduated in May. But yes, I'm finally going on my senior trip, and I'm going to be gone all of next week. And, yeah, should be very exciting for me. But there will no, there will be no videos until I get home, because, you know... I don't know how to do it to where they'll release when I tell them to on YouTube or whatever without me actually being here to release them. Whatever. You know, and I actually do want to enjoy myself. But hello, Karen. Um, it's ladies night. Thank God. Um, so let me just friendly. Um, actually, let me just put her in my household. Um, add to family. So, Genesis, because I don't want her to, like, run away or whatever. So, Genesis is going to go to the bathroom. Where's the boy? Okay, this is the girls. Okay. Use, we're not going to take a pregnancy test, even though we already know she's pregnant. You also have to use the bathroom. Lovely. But, like, what is Karen all about? Um, she's kind of friends with Caleb. She knows Lilith. But she's squeamish, outgoing, and a perfectionist. And she's gregarious, and she wants to be a friend of the world, apparently. And we're going to fix her energy, because we don't have time for you to be lethargic. We have things we need to get done, and plot lines we need to do, we need to deal with. And, yeah. Because I don't, I honestly don't think Genesis, like, is prepared to have a child, but also I'm not aborting my child, because um, I feel like it's good drama if she has a child, and once we abort a child, it's like over and done with, but you can, with this mod, you can, I think, abort it. Yeah, terminate pregnancy. So yes, we could in fact do that, but we're not going to. But we're going to gossip in the bathroom. We're going to share our secret. Um, and then we're going to share, like, insecurities. No, deep conversation. We're gonna, we're gonna lay it on. 
and Sharon's securities. Karen, do you have any outfits that are more cute than this? Not really. I mean, I did all your outfits and I fixed them, but not really anything for, like, bar appropriate. You're very summerly dressed. Can you go away, Liberty? Liberty! Not the time. Oh, she's just using the mirror, I guess. We're gonna pretend Liberty is not here. And, yeah, so Karen now knows that we are pregnant. And then she is going to... Actually, we're going to ask her about Will. Because it's like... Um, ask about Will Westbrook. Hold on. I'd like to, like, get a picture of Karen's face here if this girl was not in the way. Can I delete Liberty Lee? Is that rude? I mean, no, she's not important. Um... How do I delete her? Reset. Can you go away? Go away, Liberty. Liberty, go away. Liberty, walk away. But she's gonna ask about Will. She's like, oh, did you ever... Did I ever tell you about that guy, Will? And... No, don't order a drink. You are pregnant. And she's... She said, I haven't had the pleasure of meeting Will Westbrook. She's like, he's a Westbrook. Genesis, he is a Westbrook. They own, like, the island that you live on. They own all those farms. Like, Genesis, he's a Westbrook. Like, why would I have met him? And she's like, Westbrook? 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 Did you say you said Westbrook? Because Genesis did not know he was a Westbrook. She just knew he was Will. The guy that lived in the house next to hers. But she's going to order a drink. But she's going to get... Um... Is there, like... A root beer float. She's going to get a root beer float. And Karen is going to get... A... Juice on the rocks. Because it's like, this is... Things they need to drink over. It's like... Oh, hello, Eliza. Lovely to see you. I feel like this is probably where the scientists come to hang out after work, you know? Because Eliza comes here, and then um, I come here. Oh, hello, Summer. Can you sit down? Thanks. And so we are just gonna, like, friendly. We're gonna, what are we gonna do? Um, tell her a dramatic story on what we plan to do. Because Genesis, her moral compass does not point due north. Let's be honest. Her moral compass does not point due north. And she has this little glimmer of evil in her eye. And she knows what she has to do. She knows what she has to do. She's like... She does not want a baby out of wedlock. She does not want a baby with a vampire. And she also does not want to ruin her thing with Will because she likes him. And he is a Westbrook. Westbrook. They own the island. Like, she is very materialistic. That is probably her biggest downfall, is like her lust for material possessions. I don't know. Would lust be the right word? I don't know. But... She's very materialistic. And so, here's her big plan. She's going to sleep with... I've already made this up, but... She's going to sleep with Will Westbrook. And... Then, she's going to pass the baby off as Will's. Like, honestly, that is what she plans to do. She's going to pass this baby off as Will Westbrook's. And, Jen, and Karen's like... Uh-huh. Okay. Well, um, okay. What have I gotten myself into? Okay. But, yeah, she's gonna sleep with Will Westbrook tomorrow. Pass the baby off as Will's. And then marry him. Because that seems to be a good idea. Plus, she'll have her baby. She'll have... 
a man, and she will have all the money she could ever want. But is she in love with Will Westbrook? Um, well, people can learn to love each other. She might not be in love with him now, but she can learn to love Will Westbrook. She probably won't love him as much as she loves Caleb Vitor, but sacrifices need to be made in order for the sake of our financial stability and our financial status in life. Like, Windenburg, the people in Windenburg are very old money kind of people. Like, that's who rules these towns. Like, Willow Creek, Windenburg, and I do see Eliza in the background about to get drinking from. But those are the type of people that run these towns. Like, the Goths, the land grabs, the Villa Reels, the Westbrooks. It's like, she knows that she needs to have status in this town, and to get that status in this town, she needs to marry up basically, and she's gonna do it. She's gonna do it. She wants to be very rich. And, yeah, so, that's what we're gonna do. That's what we're gonna do, so, we're gonna go home. And we're not gonna bring Tyron with us. Um, switch to Genesis. But we're not gonna bring Tyron with us, and we're gonna sleep with Will Westbrook. Probably not the best idea, but, like, it's the only one we have. Because she doesn't want to marry Caleb. She does not want vampire children. She knows he is a vampire, and she knows vampires are ostracized in these communities, and she does not want her children or her family to go through that. She does not want to be ostracized. She just wants to be normal and wealthy, and she wants to get tastefully drunk at the country club all day. It's just what she wants. Even though we know she can do more than that in life, it's just what she wants to do. And to do that, we are going to have to lie. We're going to have to cross some lines that, let's be honest, we didn't want to ever have to cross. Like passing someone's baby off as someone else's. Like, let's be honest, no one in life wants to cross that line. No one in life says, ooh, I'm going to pass my baby off as somebody else's baby. Like, it's just never a good idea. And so we're going to visit Will Westbrook. And we're going to sleep with him. She knows that she's pregnant. She knows fully what she is doing. Her root beer float has not impaired her whatsoever. I mean, her hormones may be a little influencing on her decision making, but I feel like she is of perfectly sound mind. She is just desperate. And... She's desperate, and she's materialistic, and Genesis is... She's not, I don't know, a good person. I don't know. I just never... I don't know. I just... Here's my thought process on this. M most of my Sims, let's be honest, they're inherently good people. They do usually what is morally correct, except for Madison Winslow. But she's another story. But they usually do what is morally correct. And... I uh, wanted Genesis to do something taboo, something scandalous, That, but I didn't want her to murder anybody. Will, where are you? Hey, Will. Lovely night we're having, isn't it? Jesus Christ, am I about to do this? Am I honestly about to cross this line? Am I, can I, could I live with myself? Um, of course I could. Of course I could live with myself. Blow a kiss. Romance. Flirt. Romance. Hold hands. Romance. First kiss. Or maybe this is their second kiss. I don't know. They're going to kiss. No! No. Pregnancy, set stage, I was worried about this. Um, not showing. No. We're ignoring this. Back to this. We're ignoring this. Until we get to Will Westbrook. 
We're ignoring this. We're not- I'm not having this be ruined. This is my entire plot line for this series. This is the biggest plot line I have. Well, so far. This is a very big plot line. This is probably the biggest plot line of the series. So far. Well, ex especially for season one. Um, but other generations may have trump- may trump this plot line, but this is a very scandalous and not good decision are being made. But we're not gonna worry about her needs right now, because we're- we're- we're getting down to business. We're doing this. Things- lines are being crossed. Things we are- we can never take back. And... so, did you ask him to be your boyfriend? No, but she did. Okay, he's our boyfriend now. That's good, that's good. And so, we're together, and kiss... and... woohoo with Will Westbrook. Genesis is gonna cross this line. And you can kind of see the evil in her eye. She's gonna get away with it. Because I had no plans on having Genesis ever not get away with this. She, it might not be the morally correct decision, but she's not, she's gonna get away with it. She's gonna get away with it. It's kind of sad, but she's going to get away with it. And so, yeah, they're gonna woohoo, and Genesis is gonna lie. She's convinced him to not use protection. Or she'll say the condom broke, or something. She'll say something. To make this out to be, it'll be his baby. And so, she's gonna sleep with Will Westbrook. It's the only thing, she, apparently, that she thinks is a reasonable thing to do, and... We have crossed a line. This bothers me a bit because we've crossed this line. This is a line we can never go back from. We have crossed into soap opera territory, whereas we will be passing Caleb Vitor's baby off as Will Westbrook's, and no one's ever going to figure it out. Unlike a soap opera, no one will ever know, unless this baby pops out as a vampire, which I'll be a bit upset about, and then somehow try to make it not a vampire. Can you? No. Get up. Um, why is the time still... Okay. It's only 2 a.m. Okay, so we have done this. Um. <laughs> Will. Will, Will, Will. Do we know anything about him? Do I need to, like, get to know him, considering we're probably gonna marry him? Um, she's gonna share a secret. Like, she's gonna tell him. She knows he's a Westbrook. Um, no, gossip about neighbors, that's good. Gossip about neighbors, about the Westbrooks, and she's gonna be like, I've heard they have a son named Will. Thanks for telling me, by the way. And so, he's real chill with her knowing now that he's a Westbrook. She just, he didn't want her to do the thing that she is doing. Basically, she didn't want him to her to get with him solely because of his money and his status in life. He wanted her to get with him because she loved him and she really wanted to be with him for who he was, even if he was just poor. And, like, just worked at an apple orchard. And she found out and she did basically the exact opposite. She got with him because of his money. And I... I think Will probably does deserve better than us, but we're gonna do our best. We're doing our best, but I'd like to actually make a prank call to, um, Karen, but we're gonna say that it's like a regular call that we did it, but we have to pull 10 pranks, and this is technically considered a prank. But we're just gonna pretend that we're telling her that we have done it. Um, probably not a good decision. A uh, what? At my house right now? Uh, I've got to go, Genesis. Okay. Oh, Lord. What have we done? What have we done? What have I done? What have I done? I am passing someone's baby off as someone else's. Like, this is a line. I know I keep mentioning this is a line we can't come back from, but this is a line that we have crossed. Lines have been crossed, and we can't come back from it. 
And I think this is a good part to end it on because we have done everything that we needed to do this episode. And next episode, Will is probably going to figure out that we're pregnant, but he is for sure going to think it's his because who else have we been sleeping with? She didn't tell him about Caleb. She didn't tell Caleb about Will. And we're also going to have to deal with Caleb at one point. Yeah, we're going to have to deal with him at one point, which is... It, it's probably a good idea that he didn't show up to work that one day, because maybe he won't show up ever again, but that would probably, that'd be easier on us, but, like, this baby will never know Caleb Vitor is its father, and Caleb Vitor will never know. No one will ever know except Genesis and Karen. That's it. No one will ever know, but I think we're gonna end this part right here with Genesis's smug little smirk. Because she knows she's going to get away with it. And we're going to have to see how this pans out. So that's all for now. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.